We're at PDAC with Jeff Swinoga from Exploits. Exploits? Exploits Discovery. Exploits Discovery? Yeah. And you've got gold in Newfoundland. That's right. Okay, so where do we start? What are you planning to do at PDAC? And tell me more about your gold project. Yeah, so it's an exciting uh, project we've uh, been working on for uh, since last year, but uh, maybe just stepping back. We're a 15 million market cap company with about $7 million in cash. And our dream is to be the next newfound gold in Newfoundland. Uh, we've got a very large land package just north of them. And more importantly, um, we've got a very strategic um, claim called Bullseye. And in the last year, there's been five gold discoveries just south of our Bullseye property, like literally within like 100 meters of our border. So Newfound Gold came out with uh, even Vegas uh, last week. So they came out with uh, um, Everest, uh, K2, uh, Honeypot, Jackpot, all of them last year. We had our own gold discovery last year called um, Horseshoe. And uh, Eric Spot owns about 16%. Uh, Newfound Gold himself owns 8% of us. We've got a fantastic all local talented team in Gander, Newfoundland. And uh, hopefully our, our dream is to be the next uh, billion dollar company in Newfoundland. Okay, well you heard it here first and I'm, I'm immediately interested. What is your trading symbol, please? Oh, it's NFLD, yeah. You, got, you managed to get NFLD? NFLD, yeah. <laughs> Did you no, really? no, it's fantastic. I thought about changing the name to a kind of a football theme, but no, it's, uh, it's a great ticker. Yeah. Okay, well I grew up in Tennessee, so we can talk football here. So let's talk about your play on the field in Newfoundland. We are familiar and understand the closeology. Is obviously your play? Well, it's closeology, but also we're seeing the same type of uh, mineralization and, and uh, with our recent discuss, uh, dis uh, discovery called Horseshoe. So we've got this, the same Appleton Fault kind of running through our property that Newfound has got. You know, Newfound is a $800 million company. They've had 18 gold discoveries over the last uh, four years, hugely successful. And we're kind of following that same fault line going north and we've got the property to the north. So Bullseye is fantastic. It's a small property right in where you want to be within a, a couple kilometers of uh, where all the gold discoveries are. But we've got a much larger property called Gazebo, which has got seven plus kilometers uh, to the north uh, all along the Alpton. So you literally could fit all the Newfound's gold discoveries into our Gazebo property. So, for, so we're drilling uh, Bullseye right now. We're hoping to come up with uh, acid results in about two or three weeks. Uh, we're not done there. We want to go back and do some more drilling and hopefully have a couple more gold discoveries. But we want to get to Gazebo because uh, we think uh, Bullseye, our property, is like kind of the spark for our company to kind of show that we're so near. We're going to have a couple of the gold discoveries there. But then we want to get to Gazebo, which could be our billion dollar play. Okay, so can you tell me uh, when you picked up Bullseye and Horseshoe, for instance, was that just last year or the year before? You know, great question because uh, we beat out um, probably about 100 other companies getting our Bullseye and Gazebo property. Um, about a year and a half ago, there was a, a staking rush for these key properties. And we worked really hard to, uh, to you know, the guys to kind of call in. It's like getting Ticketmasters at Taylor Swift. You know, so you have to dial in, you have to type in all your details and the first one in, first one, uh, lowest time wins. So we we're able to pick up uh, Bullseye, uh, Gazebo, Eric Sprott called me up right away and said, how did you beat out all of your competitors? And uh, we were super pleased. The guys in Gander were doing high fives. We weren't kind of planning to be successful. Our stock went from like 15 cents to 35 and we had to get a press release out right away. So it was great. Well, you've managed to sink in Taylor Swift and Eric Sprott into this interview. And of course, the trading symbol is fabulous, NFLD. Can you tell me who's on your board and how did you manage to beat out everybody else? Yeah, sure. We've got a great board. Random uh, good luck because you have horseshoe <laughs> and horseshoes. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so Doug Cater is uh, one of our board members. He was the uh, VP of Exploration for Crook and Lake. So he kind of worked for Eric when he was chair. So uh, when they were looking at Fosterville, the most uh, highest grade profit mine in the world down in Australia, uh, he sent Doug down with Tony McCooch to do the due diligence. So having Doug on our board is a fantastic source of insight and knowledge to Orogenic Gold. Uh, we also have uh, Larry Short. He's a self-made uh, wealth advisor uh, in Newfoundland. Fantastic, knows everyone. Uh, Siri uh, Jenik, she uh, does uh, consulting for sustainability. She's fantastic. Uh, and then uh, Rod Husband, uh, he's a uh, kind of a valuation geologist. So he's super smart and, and knows this geology like the back of his hand. And how we got the claims. Um, it was interesting, about a year and a half ago, we really couldn't stake much because uh, the way we were doing things uh, wasn't, wasn't fast enough. So I sat down with the head of the claims office and I said, how do we get faster? And he said, well, I can't tell you, Jeff. And I, so I'd run, run a couple of scenarios by him. I said, what if we hire 
you know, 500 people dialing at the same time, right? And he goes, well, that's, that's fine. And he said, what if, uh, I said, what if we get the fastest typist in the world on five Red Bulls, you know, typing in the details so we can be the fastest? We go, that's fine too. And then I said, what if we're like a Formula One team and we have like three, three guys with mouses over here, a couple keyboards and boom, 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 right? So, um, so we employed a, a couple different techniques and we did a, a test case on one of the, the claims. We've got that. And then literally a month later, these claims are coming up. So, you know, we kind of peaked in what we were doing. And so we were, again, we, we didn't really plan to be successful, that successful, but we were. And it was just a real, <clears throat> real game changer for us. So, so what I told you is what I told uh, Eric Sprott as well. It's a bit of intellectual property, what we do in terms of staking, but I uh, know we're very happy. 15 million market cap, lots of luck. Exploitsdiscovery.com.